They was never friendly, yeah Now I'm jumping out of Bentley, yeah And I know I sound dramatic, yeah But I know I had to have it, yeah For the money, I'm a savage, yeah. Hey guys, it's Alexis, welcome back to my channel So today I'm back with a very exciting video for you guys So today I'm going to be doing a first impression and review on the new Too Faced highlighters And I'm super excited to do this This is what I think, I believe so It's going to be one of my first, first impression videos So I'm super excited to review it for you guys And show you guys my first impression on camera So I went to my Ulta that's up by my house It's about 20 minutes away um, to keep in mind So I went to go pick up the three highlighters I believe there's three shades like the like white shimmer shade, rose gold, and gold, but there was only one shade at my Ulta, and it was in the shade You Light Up My Life, and I really wanted to get this highlighter, and I also really wanted to make a video on it, like I am as doing right now, so I just went and picked it up, and even though there's only one, I still want to review this one for you guys. I've heard a lots of good reviews and lots of bad reviews, and they're just kind of iffy, and I kind of wanted to check it out for myself, so let's just jump right into the video. So to start off, this is just what the packaging looks like, and oh my gosh, the packaging is so bomb, like look at it. Like, I hope I have this glow right here on my face because it looks so pretty, I love the packaging. I like how it's so prismatic and it's really glowy and pretty, and yeah, this is just what it looks like. It's a basic black box with a pretty prismatic glowy gold heart. So on the top it just says, you light up my life, and that is the shade of this highlight. And this is the gold highlight in the collection. As I said, they do have three of them. And I was not able to get all three because they only had the shade left. So I want to try it out. Hopefully that doesn't mean that I was the least like liked. But I'm sure they all have the same formulas. Possibly. I do not know because I did not try them all out. But we're just going to try this one out. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is to die for. Like, look at it. It's this gold packaging and it's super cute and it just says Too Faced on it and it's a nice little cute heart and then on the back it says Love Light Prismatic Highlighter and it's You Light Up My Life obviously and then when we open it up, time to look at the highlight, oh darn, I can't get open with my nails. So this is what it looks like right here and there's a mirror in it which I think is super cute. I love compacts, eyeshadow palettes, every single thing that you get, highlighting palettes, I love mirrors because it's easy when you're on the go and you can just apply it on. So I'm going to hold out the mirror just so it doesn't flick back on the camera. But this is the highlight. As you guys can see, it's super, super cute. Like, look how cute this highlight is. And it just has the T and the F for the Too Faced highlight. And it's gold. And it looks super cute. The packaging, when everyone was talking about it, they were right. This packaging is a bomb.com. Super, super cute. That's definitely, like, what caught my eye. When I first seen these highlighters on Instagram, I was like, ooh, that is a pretty highlighter. And I really wanted to get it for me because I thought it was such a cute highlighter. So, yeah, I'm just going to first start off by swatching it on my fingers. And then we'll swatch it right here on my hand. And then we'll move to the face. So, I'm so scared to break into it because it looks so pretty. Look how beautiful it looks. Oops, there I go. Not blocking out the mirror. But, yeah, this is super, super pretty. And I'm super excited. So, let's go and swatch. I'm going to go in right here with my middle finger. And I'm just going to swatch right here. Ooh, that's pretty. That's real pretty right here. So pretty. You do have to rub your hand just a little bit though just to get enough pigment I would say. You have to rub it just a little. So that's what it looks like kind of right here if you guys could see. It's on this finger right here. I had to rub my finger just a little bit more to get more of a color in it. So let's see. Get a little bit more. See now it's, now it's kind of starting to show up as pigment right here. But not really. I feel like you have to really dig in to get like a lot. So I'm just going to rub it a little bit more and then we're going to swatch it right here on my hand. So we're going to swatch it right here. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see it here on camera, but I can see it right here in the light. Like I said, it's not really pigmented, so you really have to dig into it. Like, you can see it if, uh, if you look at it from an angle, but you really, really need to dig into it. Hopefully that's just the way it is with swatches. Let's see. Watch it again. Yeah, see, it's not it's not super pigmented. They feel really nice and buttery. They feel nice and buttery to me. But the pigment, I'm I'm just not really seeing it. Like when I swatch the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kids, like it's boom, pigment, pigment from the start, pigment on your fingers, pigment when you swatch it down. I'm just not really seeing that here. I think it's more like a subtle highlighter is what I've heard and seen in other videos. 
it's more subtle, but yeah, it's subtle if you like look at it from a certain angle, it really goes. But I don't know, maybe it just looks like this on the swatches and because of my finger. But now we're gonna look at it and see what it looks like on the face. So first time I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use it with two different types of brush. So I'm gonna use my Morphe fan brush right here. I'm gonna use the fan brush first. And then I'm gonna use this other like kinda like it's just a fluffy brush that I use for highlights also to apply more when I wanna use more of it. And this is by DRQ. I just found these brushes on Amazon. So first we're going to use it dry and see how it kind of picks up without any spray. And then if it's not picking up anything after that, I'm going to go in with my Mario Badescu spray. And I'm just kind of wet the brush a little bit and see if that helps give it a little bit more pigment and a little bit glow. Because as you see here, there's not too much pigment or glow on the hand and on swatches. So I'm hoping for a little bit different on the face. If not, we'll see what we could do. So first I'm just going to go in with my Morphe fan brush, like I said, and I'm just going to run all over the highlight. So it does not look like it's picking up any product at all. Like, where is this product going? There's like literally nothing on the brush. Do you guys see that? Nothing is showing up on the brush at all. It's just kind of weird because, like, I'm literally digging in the highlight. Like, completely I'm digging in it and... Nothing is coming up. So, yeah. See, you guys, there's not much on the highlight. I had to dig it. Like, I literally have to stay digging this highlight. So, we're just going to go with that. I'm going to go in on my nose first and start the highlight there. And let's just see how it goes. Okay. So, I'm seeing a little bit of glow on my nose. You guys see that glow? I see how the glow on my nose. I know you guys see that. It's a pretty color. I love this color. Don't get me wrong. I like gold, bronzy highlights for the summer, you know? So I'm getting the glow on my nose more than I got on the swatches. I love my highlights. So, if you guys haven't noticed. Okay. Okay. I'll see you. I'll see you too faced. You guys, not so pigmented on swatches, but pigmented on the highlight. I see you. So, yeah. I'm just going to add just a little bit more. Okay, so the glow came out really pretty on my nose. No, I'm not going to lie. It honestly looks super pretty. I have a mirror over here, and it's glowing super pretty over there. I have a mirror right here in my hand, and it looks super bomb. So we're just going to go up on the cheekbones and kind of see how that looks. And, yeah, let's just keep on going, seeing if this is pigmented. But then, also keep in mind, it took me a lot of pushing in hard into the highlight to get a little pigment on here, so... You have to push kind of hard and like rub on it a lot just to pick up any product, which kind of sucks because I, I thought it was such a beautiful product. I really wish it would have been more pigmented than it um, is coming out to be, but I don't know. Let's just finish doing the face, so. Okay, see now, now this is where I'm not getting nothing at all. You guys seeing anything? Because I'm like, I'm getting a really really subtle glow I could see right here but I feel like you just kind of have to build up the product it's not like a okay glow like you have to really build it up see now I'm starting to kind of see it but it's not really like a oh my gosh that is a popping highlight it's definitely not like that I really have to like push into the product which I'm hating because look it's like completely destroying how pretty it looked before now because I have to push so hard in so it's just, it's not working for me personally, because I usually like a glow, like I have to one one swipe and bam, and it's a pop and highlight, like Anastasia, that's why I love her highlights. I mean, I love Too Faced, don't get me wrong, I have like 10 Too Faced palettes, but this highlight, it's just, it's not working for me, because I like the really super poppin' highlight. So like, I mean, I guess it could be poppin'. See, now it's starting to glow really pretty. It's starting to come along really pretty. But you have to really build up the product. And I hate when I have to put so much layers of product that it looks caked up. And it's just too much product, you know. And especially in the summer, you don't want to be wearing a lot of makeup. Because, trust me, I'm a girl. I know that other girls feel it too. When you have so much makeup on, it's just, it's uncomfortable, you know. So the fact that I have to keep building this up just to get that pretty glow... Like, it kind of sucks, but it's a really pretty highlight, don't get me wrong, it's a pretty color. I like that, it's really buttery. I feel like it, it definitely is more of a subtle highlight. It's definitely a subtle highlight, and I definitely recommend it to be subtle. So, as you guys can see, this is how it looks dry, and this was like a lot of layers. If you build it up, it really comes on pretty, but you really have to sit there and like 
play with it. You have to build it up and just to get enough product. So now just to kind of test it out, I'm going to wet the brush just a little bit with the Mario Badescu spray and see if it makes any bit of a difference or if it's just going to still apply the same. So I'm just going to wet the brush just a tiny bit. So I'm just going to wet the brush now. I'm going to go into the product and I'm going to see if this adds more of a... <laughs> You know when you spray the spray with the Anastasia highlighters, you are going to be glowing to the gods for 24-7. So, I'm just going to go in and see how it goes with this brush dry off a little bit. So see, like, I could see a cute highlight there, but, like, remember, I had to build it up a lot. It wasn't just a little thing. So, yeah, it's definitely more subtle. It's super cute, though. Don't get me wrong. I love this whole bronzy look that I have going. So, yeah, now I'm just going to go in with the wet brush and put it into the highlight. It still looks like it's picking up the same amount of product, but we're going to try and add on now. Okay. Yeah, see that definitely intensified it, as you guys can see. It's definitely going on. It's definitely going on more pigmented now. So yeah, if you like, if you got the brush and layered up, it's definitely the bomb.com highlighter. But I just wouldn't want to go there because like, like, look at the whole highlight now is like, it looks, it, it doesn't look pretty now, like, the packaging of it, like, you have to really, like, squish in and, like, destroy the whole pretty packaging it was just to get the highlight, you know? But, I don't know, that's just me. I like a poppin' highlight. I want my highlight to be glowing. I want to be glowing to the gods. I want you to see me from a mile away and you see my highlight. That's what I want. This one's more subtle, like, you have to walk up to me and be like, oh, I, I see a nice little subtle highlight. I don't like that. I like a poppin', you know, glow. I like glowing you know so I don't know maybe it was the brush that I was putting on wrong so now we're gonna go on this cheek and I'm gonna use the more of this fluffy brush that I also use for highlights and we're gonna see if this helps it differently I am gonna wet the brush because once I wet it it definitely went on more pigmented so I don't know maybe it was the brush I don't know what it was but we're just gonna try this out with more wet so let's try my right side now okay so I wet the brush now and I'm just gonna go pick up highlight and we're gonna see how this goes so pick it up see it just still looks the same it's still doing the same thing and not picking up much product but I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around here and pick up as much product as I possibly can okay so same thing we're just gonna kind of go in okay yeah nothing is there what is the what is this Oh my gosh, this is like irking my soul because I love a poppin' highlight and I really was hoping this was. Okay. So like I said, building up product definitely gets you the glow, you know? That's kind of what I'm doing here. Just building up the product. But like I said, you have to continuously build it up just to even get a subtle glow. And I really don't like that. Because I feel like you're going to go through the product much faster and you're going to be destroying how it looks. Well, no, I mean, not all highlights, you know, have this look, but you know what I mean. It's like going to be like a struggle. You have to build it up and I feel cake. You want to have a lot of highlight on you. So I'm still building it up. You guys see that? You guys can see it in the light, right? Like, see? You guys see that? Okay. So this is like on my third layer, fourth, I don't know which layer it's on, but it's on, it's on more than the first layer. So like, see this highlight, it looks super cute, like it looks pretty once you build it up, don't get me wrong. I don't want you guys to think I'm ba bashing them, I'm not. By all means, I'm not bashing them, I think it's a really pretty highlight once you build it up and you get it. If you like a subtle highlight, this is definitely your highlight, you know. If you like a little, a little subtle natural glow, don't even want people to know you're on highlight. Me, on the other hand, I like glam, glowing, glowing to the gods, you know? So, yeah. This, I have to build up a lot just to get it glowing to the gods, you know? So, that's why I believe that this highlight, that's the only thing I would change about it. Like, it's super pretty. Like, I love the color of it. It's, it's super pretty, don't get me wrong. But I have to build up so much just to get the glow I want, you know? So... That's kind of what the highlight looks like. I'm going to go under my eye. So, I mean, it's kind of the same thing with either the fan brush or with the normal brush. I would wet your brush because it does give it more of a pigmentation rather than when I first went on dry because when I went on my right side, I wet the brush right away and the brush was wet right before I went on. Remember, on this side, I started out dry and it was like 
five layers before I even decided to wet it and it got really pigmented. So I would wet the brush. It doesn't really matter on the brush, I guess you could say. But if you wet it, it helps it ten times more and you're going to have a much of a prettier glow, you know? So wet the brush. Definitely wet the brush. That's the key to it. So, see? So I think this highlight is... I mean, it's really pretty. Don't get me wrong. Once you build it up, if you have time and you like building up a product and you don't mind to build it up and add lots of layers to get it to a nice glow, I feel like it's a good product. But I also feel like it's more of a subtle highlight. You know, if you just want a nice light glow, you don't want people knowing you're wearing highlight or you just want that, like, you know, really subtle, natural, pretty glow. I definitely feel that this is the good highlighter. It has definitely gorgeous packaging. Definitely gorgeous packaging. That's 10 out of 10 completely. I absolutely love the packaging super cute the glow the pigmentation it's not the best i would give it like a six out of ten because you do have to build it up a lot for how much these highlights were i was expecting much more pigmentation like at least an eight out of a ten you know but you had to build up a lot of product and i had to wet the brush just for it to be like a super like gold bronzy glow like a bright glow you know so, I mean, if you like subtle highlights, this is definitely a highlight. I'm not bashing it by all means. I personally, like I said, I like a really glowy highlight, and this highlight just isn't the highlight for me. I would definitely probably reach for Anastasia highlight rather than a Too Faced highlight, or rather than this one. Maybe it was just this highlight. I don't know, but like I said, I had to wet the brush just to get it. I had to build up so many layers just to get it to the glow it's at right now. Like, I love being glowy. And I really hate that I had to build up so many layers just for it to be decent, you know? So, yeah, this highlight's really pretty, don't get me wrong. Would I buy this again? Probably not, just because I don't like subtle highlights. And if I'm going to spend this much money on a highlight, I'm going to pay for a highlight that has definitely much more pigmentation and much more glow. So, yeah. I recommend this for the subtle users of highlight that just like the one layer and natural glow. But if you want a pop-in highlight and you're looking for a really pigmented glow, I would not recommend this for you guys. It's more... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a subtle, like I said. So, yeah. That's kind of my review on it. This is my whole first impression, you know. Um, it went good on my nose, but then I got to my, like, where I normally highlight and I was just like, what... What is this? Like, how did I build up, like, 20 layers? So, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like having to build up, like, a million layers just to have a nice glow. So, I wouldn't recommend this product if you don't want to get a pop. This product, if you want a subtle highlight. If you want a subtle highlight, go for this product. If you don't want a subtle highlight, I wouldn't recommend this. So, yeah. So, this was my first impression slash review on the Too Faced Love Light Highlighter in the shade you light up my life so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and as always make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you want to see more makeup videos just let me know down below in the comments i will see you guys in my next video bye